Hello everyone and welcome back to Quadrilateral Cowboy. I am Exorf and uh, I just had to redo the first mission for some reason. Uh, it's like it didn't properly save after I um, after I finished the last one. Uh, so we're gonna head head into the next game. Uh, blah. We're gonna head into the next mission then uh, in the Vading game, I believe, because nothing has really changed around here. Uh, that person is still welding away on the uh, tape player thing uh, and uh, yeah we have another mission to do and we can't uh, let our contractors wait get the two red suitcases oh this is paying a lot more the last one is paying 400 I have no idea if the money you're getting will actually uh, matter in any way but yeah sure so are we getting some sort of, or are we still in the Satsuma? Yeah, so we're still in the Satsuma building. So I guess that explains why we're still on the Satsuma job, so to speak. Uh, so we're heading down into the skylights. And it's still the three second thing going on. Uh, skylight two, uh, open three. Let's do this! Uh, okay, what is going on here? This is new. Anti-electrostatic with uh, wish field. Okay. Observe precaution, electrostatic sensitive devices. No deck equipment allowed beyond this point. Ah, oh, that's interesting. Add a delay between commands, so you can like... Ah, oh, that's cool. So I guess we can put the deck down here and then do a command to uh, head in there. So we need to figure out exactly what we want to do. Oh, that's kind of cool. You need to put a the right amount of time on the wait command. So let's just leave that there for now and see how long it takes. Like one, two, three, four. So if we do five seconds, then we can just run in there, grab the uh, data boost Michelin. Oh, that's like the processor that we got for in the intro mission. I wonder if we need, why we need another one. I mean, I'm, I, we're still in the heist planner and not in an actual heist, I think. So uh, I'm guessing we're not actually getting that item by, by finishing this mission. So, all right. And you do have this clock, which is cool, because you can use it to time stuff, I guess. But uh, let's wait five seconds, then uh, turn on camera one. For three seconds. Okay, let's do this. One, two, three. Oh shit! Okay. I shouldn't have picked this up. <laughs> uh, wait, how do I... Okay, sure. Let's uh, redo that, shall we? <laughs> this is this is awesome. Uh, and then we just press enter instead and right click. Three, four, five, two, three. Jesus, I was kind of close. I don't know if that actually has to be off for only three seconds. I couldn't see any sign on it. Any of these, uh, well, I guess these, uh, there aren't any signs around here. So how do I just pick this up? Oh, right click immediately. That makes sense. So next one is the same thing going on here. Oh, so we can just, uh, want to first start the camera command, but what do we want to do after that? Is there anything in there? I guess we want to turn off the camera, then uh, wait a few seconds and then turn it off again. So we go in there and we'll go back here, wait for it to turn off again and then go out. Yeah, I'm really liking these these bits. Like, I wasn't entirely sure what the game would be about. Uh, what is it called? It's called Camera 2. Um, but uh, but yeah, I, I liking these uh, like timing based things. Uh, it feels more like you're actually 
doing some sort of heist um, for three seconds wait for five seconds that should probably be enough right and uh, then we are turning the camera off again for three seconds okay oh shit ah shit like I think I screwed that up but complete. let's uh wait for the next thing oh okay wait is it not turning off did my command fail oh shit and now I'm kind of stuck in here uh I guess we need to take the alarm then ha oh shit I didn't even know that was possible All right you gotta redo that then I guess It's nice that it remembers what you um, what you told it to do, so you can sort of uh, go back and uh, and redo it everything step by step, which feels kind of like cheating as well, but it works. So, I mean, th that means that it, the mission will be a lot easier if you fail the mission, I guess. <laughs> Even the bullet holes are are still left here. Uh, so, let's uh, do this again. Didn't really work out last time. Um, so, camera two off, wait for five seconds, then camera two off again. Um, we need to enter, then uh, then right click to, to make this work. Oh shit, I... okay. Yeah, Jesus, I am... why did I pick this up? <laughs> <laughs> I picked the wrong thing up, but yeah, that's okay. I'm not doing very well at this. Uh, okay, let's do this again. <laughs> Five, turn off, get the suitcase, go back out, grab this thing, go down here. Now I need to figure out why exactly I'm failing so badly at this. I, I mean, I'm always failing to actually go through this fucking door for some reason, uh, which is kind of silly. Maybe we want to add a bit of a weight before we turn the uh, this camera off as well. That could make things easier, I think. Wait for three seconds. Then we turn the camera two off. And then we wait for five seconds. Wait, actually, let's wait for longer. That's kind of screwing us up. Seven. And then we're turning it off. Okay. So, enter, right click. Three. Two. Three. Okay, cool. Objective complete. Two. Three. Oh. Okay. Whew. That did not feel like seven seconds to me, but I have a very bad sense of time, I think. <laughs> I should probably rely more on my on my watch, if I'm uh, to be honest. So with that everything? Do we get all of our stuff? Is it just uh, heading back to the... Uh, to the uh, start of the mission, that's the objective now. Okay, so we have a... Oh, we still have sort of uh, this little thing that we can plug into outlets. But I don't think we want to do that right now. Let's say... Oh! Ah! I don't want to drop that thing. I don't know if that's a good thing to have done. I can't pick it up either, so... Um... What do I do here? How do I... Ah! Ah! What is going on? Ah, <laughs> uh, sure. Let's just open it, I guess. Okay, so that turns... Oh! Okay, okay. That's interesting. You can use this to, like, fly up a lot quicker. I don't know if that's something we actually want to do, though. Uh, so, next thing is to... Into the showroom, then, I guess. And it's a three second thing. So, and it's door nine. And we want to open it for three seconds. I hope there's nothing crazy on the other side. But, uh, then I don't have much time to like think about things. Oh. 
What the hell is going on in here? I think it might be a good idea to just kind of leave this here for a bit. And so we can actually head in and uh, check this place out. Or maybe... Is it a logic bomb? Is that what the... What this is telling me? It failed that late. Trolley problem. Huh. Trembler. Pressure sensitive floor pads. Alarm tr trigger 10 seconds after any tampering. Huh. So it's the thing that we want to like hurry up and get out of here when we grab the thing? Because if so, we want to run out here. We can't open this like that. Um, I don't know if we can get how to get out of here though. Maybe we need to plan that out ahead of time. Like, um, yeah, let's open this again. Two, three. So can we use this to just get out of here really quickly? All oh, right, you can just climb out of these uh, these skylights. So we probably want to like do a lot of cool delayed commands to um, to be able to handle this with uh, with ease. I wonder if you need to grab the... Whoa! Did not mean to do that. Okay. Good thing there's no fall damage. I think you actually have like a... I think there actually is fall damage if you fall for too far, but... Um, that three-story fall seemed to be okay. For some reason. Um, okay. So we grab this. Head in there. Uh, so what I want to do then is to... We need to be able to go in there, grab that thing, go out here, grab this thing, run out here, open, jump up there, and then wait for the skylight to open up. Jesus, this is like very... You need to be very careful here. Huh, this might need a few tries, actually. So, because the thing is that we need... Um, we need to time it so the alarm doesn't go off, which happened 10 seconds after any tampering. So we need to make sure that we grab that thing, run out of here, and then at the right moment this door will open. And we fly up, and at the right moment the grate will open, and then we are out of here. And that has to happen in less than 10 seconds. Which is, uh, feels pretty crazy. Maybe that's it, that we want to time things first that might be a better idea um so basically we would do something like this okay we wait for the for it to be 10 seconds run in Ten, grab the, oh nine, shit eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, yeah i am so screwed nine, Yeah. That was very stupid of me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, jeez, and you need to restart the whole thing? That's... Okay. That's quite a... A punishment for failure. It's like the... The second I... I was about to walk over to the bomb or whatever. I realized that shit, I shouldn't be doing this. Objective complete. Okay. So we got that figured out now. Uh, but yeah, still, I have fucking no idea about this. This feeling very sketchy. If I'm actually going to be able to do this uh, <laughs> on one attempt, which is honestly, yeah, I don't know. Maybe you should actually plan this ahead. Uh, skip those things and plan this until we have it uh, fine-tuned and then uh, try it again when we actually have everything working out. I guess if you really thought about it, you could kind of do the whole thing in one big uh, uh, one big program so you could just fine-tune the, the waiting time between uh, each command it could actually be kind of cool I don't think you actually need the uh, the deck for anything huh we might want to try that if I fail this too miserably again so let's try this again shall we we'll leave this here for a bit and just We we'll probably just need like two seconds. Grab this, run out of here, 
And then the door should open in like... So, wait, 40. Bop. Bop. So, five seconds. Open this thing. And then like... Three seconds and open Skylight 2. That could be something. That me might be quick enough, at least quick enough to get away from the gun. So, let's try that then. What do we say? Five seconds, open door nine. Three seconds, open skylight. Or three. Okay. Let's uh, try the thing. Work, 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 work. Two. Three. Three. Whoa! Two, one. Time expired. Okay, that felt pretty cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, we did it slower than the global average, but... Oh man, that felt awesome. Was there actually at like... Um, a time limit? Because it said 10, 10 seconds remaining. I don't know if that means anything. But yeah, okay, that was pretty awesome. Uh, contract done. Please use chalkboard. Oh, so what do we do here to... Oh! Shopping expedition. So I guess we can use the money that we got from that mission somehow? Hello there, cat. We're in a bike shop. I have no idea what we're... Tune up, flat fix, chain fix, full Kawakami. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is making more sense. We got a gun selling cat. Contents we will. Okay. No idea what's going on here, but I'm... I'm liking this. The presentation of this is pretty awesome. Uh, bicycle testing circuit. Equipment test range. Oh, ah, okay. So what does it say? Remote control, service, quadruple, money. Uh, we will buy less signal, CCTV deck. Wait, so you can just stash the CCTV? You can't really use it. Can you stash anything? Uh, okay, whatever. So I guess what we want to do is... I don't know what we want to do. What do we want to do? I don't know what we want to do that. Let's turn it back on. Please press button when ready to exit. Hmm. So is there, are you going to like... Teach me how to use this stuff or... Oh right, there's a little note up there. Oh, we will click start. Type exit, type weaver, type help. So we want to get out of Telnet then, I guess. That's explain. I, I've been confused about why we need to go into Telnet at all, but makes more sense if there are multiple applications beside uh, besides Telnet. And then we go into weaver. And then... You want to make a sort of rat... Ratcho. Uh, testing version do not distribute. Modified from original source code by Arca Crew. Type help. Yeah. So we can connect to it. Get a wireless connection. Uh, find the nearest we wills. So we can get multiple we wills. Uh, go move forward. Stop moving. Turn. Jump. Stand. And regain balance. Cam zoom. Light. Toggle headlight. Data, data jack. Connect to the nearest. Data jack, stop all threads, exit. So this seems very advanced, <laughs> like really advanced. Uh, but maybe it's a thing like where you um, where you give it programming commands and it uh, like executes them in order. So what is the uh, Weevil name? Establish what we long connection with Weevil and displays with uh, output. We need to find first Nell. Connect to Nell. So what is the... Okay, so that says if we want to connect it to video 1 or video 2. So that's cool. You can have, like, 
separate weevils connected to each of these uh, outputs. That's pretty awesome. Success. Connection established to Weevil Nell. We probably want to turn that around a bit so we can actually see what's going on. So let's figure this out. So we... What were the... We can scroll, so let's scroll up a bit. So we guess we'll just try... Go? Because we need to do a distance. Okay, that's kind of cool. So go for one meter, for example. Or... Did anything actually happen? Okay, so one is actually not one meter, it's like one centimeter. Go ten. Go hundred. I might be going too far now. Please stop. And I think what you want to do is stand? Was that it? And uh, turn 90. Go 10. Can you like do multiple commands at once? Turn 90 or is that only for command prompts? Wait, what? Did I, anything actually happen there? No. Oh, is that me? Why am I walking like that? <laughs> yeah, that did not work, I don't think. We want to add, add to the go so we can actually... No. Alright. So it only executes the last one. Uh, was there anything else that we can do with this? Oh. Camps and light data, data jack. Okay, so you can connect to data jacks here. That's kind of cool. I guess I would have wanted to connect to the data jack up there. Um, can we actually reach the data jack from here? Yeah, we, we can't. <laughs> so, but I guess I can just leave this thing and uh, pick it up. Right? Where, where is it? There. Just to, like, sort of try it out. So you need to data jack to zero then. Oh, then you execute the number in that data jack. Okay, that's cool. Uh, let's do that again. And uh, then we are out of here, I believe. So can we stash this right, right now? Yeah, well, let's just leave this place. That was really cool. Uh, I'm I'm really liking all of uh, <laughs> all of this stuff. It like gives us a lot of different nice uh, tools for the job. I have a feeling like as these missions go more advanced, there's going to be a lot of interesting stuff uh, for us to do. I kind of want to push this down this infinite hole here. All right, so where are we now? 39 Southwest Portland with Chinese letterings. So are we in China or is China the lingua franca and uh, where we live now? Wait, what does that actually do? Okay, not sure I understand the purpose of that, but sure. <laughs> Hey there. Oh, all right. Morning carpool. So we're basically taking everyone to work, I guess. I want to look around your place, though. Climate Quick Adult Night School. The Lou keep crying. <laughs> A lot of instant ramen. <laughs> oh, airplane. An interactive story by Lou and Macy. You wake up six miles above the planet. <laughs> oh my gosh. You remember you're uh, on an airplane. You breathe a sigh of relief. <laughs> Snack on your tub of chili. Listen, says the stranger next to you. If one drop of that chili gets onto my $4,000 suit, I'm gonna fork up your face until you look like one of those wrinkly dogs. I can eat more chili. Place a bean on the stranger's sleeve. Place a bean on the stranger's head. Let's put it on the head because that's... He didn't say anything about the head, okay? You rest a chili bean on the stranger's head. 
Well, the stranger says, okay, that's okay, as long as it's not on the suit. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not, uh, it's not um, unreasonable, that's for sure. Go to the bathroom. You enter the airplane bathroom. Someone has left a book here. Uh, oh yeah, of course we gotta read it. You read uh, um, you read nightmare passages of unspeakable non-Euclidean horror. You vaguely understand that by reading this. You plunge the world into darkness. Okay. The airplane rips in half. A gaping hole sucks everything out of the passenger's cabin. They return to seat light blinks on. <laughs> Uh, you push against the 500 mile per hour winds and return to your seat. Uh, you, let's think about that horse, shall we? You reminisce, you reminisce about that time you meet, met that police horse. Your thoughts are interrupted by the gaping hole in the passenger cabin. Everything gets sucked out of the airplane. Flight attendants, luggage, tubs of silly, and you. Flap arms. You flap your arms in an attempt to fly. It doesn't work. Wake up. You wake up six miles above the planet. Oh my gosh! Are we chilly? Okay, I can see where this is going. That's pretty fun. We have some newsprint, sketchbooks, figure drawing from life. Huh, this is... I guess this is us, but it's strange to see this sort of art style. Uh, because, uh, yeah, that person with the blue hair, that's gotta be us, right? Uh, this sort of art style when everything in world looks like this. Hmm, so an odd little combination of uh, of art styles. Huh. We repair anything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> even more it, like hints about pressing C to zoom. I really like that. So yeah, I think you can actually like have multiple levels levels of zoom. We can like zoom in really far. Anything else around there? That seems interesting. Ultra climbing. So yeah, I guess uh, Lou here is the person who lives here. And uh, she's a climber, I, I assume. And a tennis player. Let's uh, head out. So I'll try to remember your name then. Lou, right? Is that a scar on your cheek? I wonder if she got that from... Uh, from climbing. The finger lime funicular. Wait, I didn't do the third mission in the Satsuma job? Huh. Well, I think this is a good place to end this episode. If you enjoyed watching it, then please leave a like and subscribe for more videos every week. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time on Quadrilateral Cowboy. Bye bye. Oh, I hope this isn't the, um, the Black Friday. We're all supposed to be on the same side. We're all countrymen. This could get violent. Yes, it could.